to see, what to rent, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. That's right, and we are happy to reach Friday because that means our favorite film critic, Ryan J, is here. It's Mother's Day on Sunday, so will he have the perfect film for moms? Ryan? Will I? I mean, I don't have it. I'll have a review about it. Okay, <laughs> let's did, see. You did not bring it. Direct, so. I think you have two <laughs> options that are going to be great for moms, and we're going to start with one that I hope is. Me it's too. Snatched, rated R. I thought about you throughout this whole movie. I know, because I wanted to go with you. Right. It was just, Well, yeah. this movie features the blonde dream team, Goldie Hawn and it's Amy Tiffany Schumer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Amy Schumer, and they're fantastic. If you love these women, you'll love this movie. They play mother and daughter. Their chemistry is undeniable, and the comedy is Great. This mm. is really good to hear because I was really afraid. When you put two knockout actresses together like yeah. this, and especially after Goldie Hawn has taken this huge break, mm -hmm. I mean, it can be really scary. Well, she so, needed to, to take some time for her plastic surgery to settle in. <laughs> she looks <laughs> gorgeous in this she movie. She talks about it she's all. Yeah. She's amazing. But she finally, you know, for a few years, she didn't really look like herself. She looks gorgeous What's now. the hook here? Is it just that these two are so great? Well, is it their chemistry? The hook is that it's not just comedy. It starts out as a great, you know, mother and daughter relationship, family drama. The comedy is great. There's a little bit of romantic comedy in there and then it becomes a real action adventure. They go on this vacation together that turns into <laughs> a nightmare and everything that they go through, everything that happens to them is so unrealistic but it doesn't matter because the comedy that's written and the way that it's played is so winning that I was just into it. Well, I, I was going to ask you about that because Amy Schumer sometimes tends toward raunch yeah. and yeah. Goldie Hawn has never been quite that raunchy so right. like where do they go with this? Uh -huh. It is rated R and it's Amy Schumer. It's her second movie after Trainwreck. It's not as bad as Trainwreck. <laughs> but there's nothing in this movie that will make you feel uncomfortable or awkward watching it with your mom. Okay. okay. Yeah, because these are characters we know. They're relatable. You'll either identify with them or know somebody like them, and I think that's a lot of fun. So you just have to go in with a sense of humor. Absolutely, All if right. you have one. Okay. <laughs> How about the supporting cast? How do they do? I love it. Wanda Sykes. Oh, Joan Wanda Sykes. Cusack, who plays a mute. Nice. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. How fun for her to like take on a role where she doesn't have one line, but she's hilarious and genius. I really enjoyed it. See it. I think it's great on the big screen. It's totally implausible, but again, really great comedy. Love it. Okay. All right, there you go. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, PG-13. This is my favorite medieval movie ever. <gasps> Really? All of the magic, the renaissance, the action, it is incredible, it's packed. And I was already thinking if there was a movie that my friends wanted to see this weekend, because I've seen everything already, I would be willing to see this movie again. Wow, that yeah. says a lot. Mm -hmm. When you're a film critic and you see movies for your job, then that's asking yes. a lot. Your, it is your friends work, ask you, yeah. It is. <laughs> Hard Some work. of them are not good, and it is work. Yes. Okay, so talk about the cast on this one. This is Jude Law, who reteams with director Guy Ritchie here. Mm -hmm. um, we've got Charlie Hunnam as uh, King Arthur, and they're fantastic. I really love them. David Beckham has a cameo appearance. What? Really? Yes, it's really fun. And even Guy Ritchie himself is a cameo. Okay, how about the production value? Because I feel like a movie like this, especially that whole pulling of the sword scene, it's right. all got to be great. Oh, sword in the stone. It is so phenomenal. The effects, the editing, I saw it in 3D, which was amazing. Well, they're I love, doing this one in 3D. Oh, yeah. And what I, I love about that. what Guy Ritchie does is, like, he's got this really cool sensibility. If you remember, like, the Sherlock Holmes movies that he did, or yes. The yeah. from Uncle, Snatch, you know, like, Lock, Stock, and Barrel. It's like, it's like he's got this great slow motion music video. There's the effects kind of like the Death Eaters from Harry Potter. All of it is so Cool. I love the tonality he uses too. It's so yeah. it's beautiful. It's like Very art. Instagram. -esque. Okay, so um, <laughs> it is, <laughs> isn't it? You know, Instagram that's so. Yeah. That's a that's a bit millennial right there. <laughs> so um, the the creatures. Talk a little bit Ooh, about the magic creatures. of this. Yes, I mean the Ursula the Sea Witch from The Little Mermaid is in this. Oh. We have the Lady of the Lake. You know, they're forming. You know, sort of the, the Knights of the Round Table. But there's Ooh, so many cool creatures. There's things that like are so creepy and cool that I was like, whoa! I can't believe we're looking at this. I could have a nightmare, but no, it's so cool. Three times during this movie at the end of scenes, I literally wanted to stop, stand up, and cheer, but I knew I'd be kicked out, so I didn't. <laughs> that but, good, like, huh? show-stopping moments. Scope? This, Yeah, this wow. yeah, huge, epic movie. I just really loved it, but um, it's fun to see it. See it on the big screen. It's it's even worth a repeated view. I will be... Do it right now. Right Do it right now. So stand up and applaud it. Stand up and applaud it. But yes. Yes. Buddies, yes. go yes. King Arthur. Ryan's <laughs> buddies, you heard it right here. He'll go see this with you again. Yes. So will, there you go. Yeah. You won't get kicked Tweeted out by me. us. The reason I didn't actually just stand up is because I'm sitting on my giveaway. <laughs> yeah. Which could be another gift right. for mom. Exactly. I don't know. Yeah, no, that, please. What mom? They called it mommy. 
What? Yeah. Can we say? I don't know. Can you Mommy say porn? porn? <laughs> I don't know. We did. We, there shades, it was. 50 Shades Darker, new on Blu-ray and DVD, and I have free copies to give away at my website, ryanjreviews.com. I liked this one better than the first one in the franchise. Yeah. So it's certainly good for Mother's Day. I still haven't seen either. I All haven't right. either. That's good. Nope. That's good. <laughs> or we'll go see that this week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't there start down that rabbit hole. <laughs> All right, well, you can like Ryan J on Facebook, follow him on Twitter, and for his full movie reviews, check out his website. It's ryanjreviews.com.